Today we are going to learn about a very powerful and versatile visual in Power BI called Charticulator. I am going to show you three types of charts. Bubble chart, bump chart and pictogram. To install it inside Power BI, go to insert more visuals from app source, search for a Charticulator and install it. After installation, you will find it here in the custom visual area. Click on the visual to insert it on the page. Make it bigger. You have to go to these three dots and say edit. This allows you to create a chart or import a template. But both of them are currently inactive. Why is that? Because we first need to put some fields there. Here is the simple data. We have three columns, country, population and location. So I'm going to choose country, drag drop, population, drag drop. Once you put some data here, these buttons become active. You create a chart from scratch or use a template. I'm going to say create chart from scratch. It gives me a complicated looking user interface, but don't worry, I will guide you through the process. This requires an area to start plotting and that's called a plot segment. That's already there when you start. In our case, we want to put things which are circular. They are symbols. So click on the symbol and then click inside in the center here. So this creates a small dot and then it plots it there. Just zoom in here, auto zoom. This is a symbol. Glyph means symbol. Now we want to tell this guy what to do with that symbol. This is the glyph area. I'm going to collapse it for some time so that we can see the symbol area. Now here we have a lot of attributes. The shape of the symbol is circle, but the size is fixed right now. I want to make that size variable and I can link it to my data. Now the size is determined by population. Now these are all getting scattered horizontally. If I click here, there are different ways in which it can show it. I want something called packing, sort of a word cloud. This is looking too small right now. So I go to symbol, then I go to scale. So let's make it bigger. Let's settle for 25,000. The next thing is I want color coding. So this is the symbol. Size is controlled by population. And let's say the fill will be controlled by the name of the country. You can change it from here if you like. But it has already given unique colors to each country. The only thing left now is to, of course, the country name. Now that is text. So open this text. Text means variable text. And then we need to put that text inside this glyph. So zoom it in, click on text and just put it here. And then you can just drag it and put it in the center. Again, I'm going to close the glyph part of it. And this, these are attributes for the text. The text content will come from country name and the size of the text will come from population. Now this is too big right now. So let's change the range to six. Let's settle for 25. I also want it anchored centrally and let's put the color as white. Next step is to save it, come back to report and we have this visual working beautifully. Now we will create a pictogram or a chart with pictures. I have just two columns, the title of the video and the product for which the video was created. Add the charticulator visual, click on the three dots, edit. Now we need to add data. I am adding product and title. Next, we'll create a chart from scratch. This is a plot segment and plot segments have X axis and Y axis. This is the X axis. I want the product names on X axis so I can drag drop here or I can also choose X axis from here. Same thing. Now I need an image and I want to plot that image for each product. So let's go to an image, choose an image and put it in the center here. Zoom in and now it has just plotted the image like this. I'll close the glyph for now. When you go to a plot segment, you can specify how you want to plot things. Scroll down all the way and here we want stacked on Y axis. So now it has gone through all the items, identified how many times a video for a particular product was created and it has plotted it. The alignment is not correct, no problem. We'll just align it to center properly. If you want to adjust, you can do it from here itself. Now the only point left is how do you put pictures in this? And that's easy. Click on the icon or picture, go to the image part, click on this. I want separate ones for each product. 
And now for each product, you'll have to pick up the image. So I'm going to do that quickly. As soon as I selected an Excel picture, it has already plotted it as expected. So I'm going to speed up this process and finish it for all the products. And that's it. This is how you can create a pictogram. The last chart I'm going to show you is to illustrate the concept of linkages. Here is the data. I have data from 1992 to 2011. And for each year, we have multiple countries, how much emissions they had and what was their global ranking. So we are going to create a bump chart like this, where each country is color coded. On X axis, we have years and the ranking is shown like this by connecting lines. Those are called linkages. Power BI has a separate visual for this kind of ranking that's called a ribbon chart. I have a separate video for that. Have a look at it. Let's add Charticulator. Go to edit mode. We need to add the data. So you go to the view tab, click on data pane. Enable these checkboxes. This may misbehave and put it in wrong place. So you can just drag drop. One extra thing I'm going to do for linkages there is one more field well and I'm going to put country there. Now that we have set up the data, let's create a chart. So we have a plot segment. So on the X axis, we want year. Now notice this became a problem. It is doing sum of year. I'm going to undo this, go to our data and make sure years are not summarized. Ideally, this should be done as data shaping when you import the data. Similarly for ranks, I don't want to summarize it. Now I'm going to drag drop year into X axis and rank into Y axis. I want the rank to be one to 10. So what do I do? I close this, go to the plot segment, go to Y axis, scroll down. And here I say, maybe I'll put it as 11 and one. So I just reverse the scale. The next part is to put the country itself and country is going to be a glyph. So glyph, put a symbol, put it in the center. This is going to be controlled as country. So the fill is going to come based on name of the country. Perfect. Now all that I need to do is link those dots. For linking, we have a special link button here. We want to link it using a line sequentially and based on the country name. It creates links like a ribbon chart. So now you can visually see this was at eighth rank, then it went to six, then it came back to seventh. Much more visually appealing and easy to understand. The link itself has formatting. So this can be a simple line or a more stylized line or it can be an arc. So you choose what you like. If you want, there can also be arrows. Finally, we want to put name of the country because currently there is no naming anywhere. We have already said color coding should happen by country. And if you want, you can just say add a legend. So save the chart back to report and you have a nice chart. So we have seen three examples of charticulator, a bump chart, a bubble chart and a pictogram. But that's not the end of it. Try it out. Charticulator is a little difficult to understand initially, but once you get the fundas clear, then it becomes a natural extension of your thought process. Try it out and let me know which data you used with it and which type of chart did you draw. And before you go, it's equally important to know how to use any Power BI visual properly. So have a look at this best practices video as well. So that's it for now. Thank you.